guys, it's Yasmin here with Porter Robinson. Hey, hey how's Porter. It going? I'm gonna wager that you're probably one of the youngest acts here at Lollapalooza this year. I think so, but uh, you know, there's one who's actually significantly younger than me, right before me. Okay. Um, yeah, Madion is playing uh, right before me, and he's he's uh, 17, I think, and That's he's just like crazy. destroying it. So to this big crowd, but your your birthday just passed. So That's right. Just happy 20. belated. Thank you very um, much. How does it feel to no longer be a teeny bopper? <laughs> <laughs> I still feel like a teeny bopper at heart. Okay. You know my. My uh, little description on Twitter says I'm a baby IRL, so I still kind of identify with that because mm -hmm. <laughs> I keep getting asked about it and stuff. So yeah. it's going to be my identity for a very long time. You're like, I will be 21 one day. You guys will <laughs> stop asking me these questions. <laughs> um, and you have a pretty tight association with Skrillex. Yeah, yeah. But um, he also gets asked about his youth all the time. Too, yeah. So it's never going to stop. But I, I, I'm zen about it. I yeah. accept it. What are some of the uh, bits of advice that you've learned from him? Does he share any jewels with you? Well, the, the main thing that I've taken from Skrill, and it's invaluable, and it's the advice that I try to pass on mm -hmm. uh, most myself, is that you should never feel the need as an artist to pander. You don't ever have to feel compelled to do what your audience expects of you. Like, I, f I found almost all of my regrets in my career have come about as a result of me doing what I thought I needed to do. That's right. And whenever it is that I do exactly what I know is right, mm -hmm. when I do the music that I that is most compelling to me, right. my fans are always right there with me, mm -hmm. um, and the response is bigger. So I, I think that's that is sage advice, that's super right. valuable. Never pander. Do yeah. you? You coined the term complexstro. I did. What does this mean, my dear? Well, so. First of all, when I wrote, when I came up with the word complexstro, I was creating my MySpace when I had zero fans, <laughs> and I wanted to have like a nice, funny, cute little portmanteau to describe my sound. Okay. So complex, electro, complexstro. I never intended for it to describe a genre or mm -hmm. anything like that, um, but people started using it and they started describing glitchy bass music, particularly yeah. glitchy electro with it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it just kind of caught on. But it's so funny. People people get so upset about that word. Right. And so I've like why? Because it's just like so unwieldy. Complexstro. That's it's like kind of fun to say. Uh, I mean, the first <laughs> two times. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> um. So it, it, on a random note, uh, Dead Mouse kind of said EDM DJs are glorified button pushers. Yeah. What do you think of that comment? And I mean. Just overall, what, you know, what are, you, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, there is so many perspectives on that issue. I think a track had great things to say. I think Dead Mouse also had a point. You know, I mean, it's, it is a question: how live is DJing, and how how much input is the person actually having? How much of a performance are you watching? Yeah. Um, but you know, I mean, I know how I know how these those things go, and you know, one one little quote can turn into a, a nine thousand page <laughs> internet flame war. And yeah. It's just you know, it's it's it's. I think it's difficult being being held accountable for every you know every little thing you might blurt into a microphone. And yeah. I think I think there's a lot of valuable takes on that issue. You know? Yeah. Politician um, answer. Boom. Yeah.